All right, guys, following in a long line of videos talking about knife care, knife storage, today I wanted to talk about how I store my knives because it's something that I don't think actually a lot of people discuss and it's something that I think is worth discussing especially if you are a knife collector like me and you end up getting you know 20 30 40 50 even more knives and you need somewhere to secure to safely and reasonably easy and sometimes even securely store them. So for me, I thought I'd go over today how I store my knives and go over this system. So it's not too complicated and hopefully the video won't be too long, but let's jump right into it. So first off, the, the storage case, or first off, I store it in a case, as you guys can probably see here, and the case is a Pelican 1450. Now, admittedly, I may have to step this up uh, once my knife collection gets so large, but for the most part I think that honestly a Pelican 1450 is just about perfect for most people's knife storage needs if not maybe even overkill and of course I have mine with a myriad of stickers and I will be probably adding more stickers in the future um, just kind of different stickers for whatever catches my eyes and I want to throw on this case to make it my own so yeah I've got a mixture of things like video game um, and cultural stuff to knife makers and holster makers so just all kinds of cool things even just artistic stickers and stuff just whatever uh, I decide to throw on here so that's kind of how the sticker game goes and yeah so let's jump into it so why did I choose a pelican case in the first place now like I said I chose the 1450 because I feel like it's a pretty good size and when we pop this sucker open you'll see what I mean but the primary reasons why I chose the pelican 1450 is primarily its durability and it's just overall life proof in addition to that too, it can be fitted with locks as you guys can see here and here. Uh, you can put locks to keep this guy all locked up and safe, but even if you don't have it locked up, um, once again, it just offers a tremendous amount of protection. Of course, there is a ton of foam in here, and the outside of this is uh, very, very durable, hard plastic. And of course, you have a full seal around this, so obviously it's completely waterproof with a little check valve here for pressurization. So definitely overkill, but personally, I think uh, you know Pelican cases like the 1450 can be had anywhere from $100 to $160, and when it comes down to it, I think it's similar to uh, why I chose to get a Wicked Edge sharpening system, and that was that when you have knives that are you know six, seven hundred, eight hundred, even a thousand dollars, you know you really want to make sure that you have a you know sharpening system that is capable of really putting on good edges, right? And so I think the same way when it comes down to a case for their protection is you know you want something that is going to actually protect the really expensive knives you have. Well, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't use them and, you know, of course, carrying them on you, they'll see use, but when they're stored, I like to have them stored in a case that is going to be protective of them. So anyways, let's jump right into it. So this guy's always a little bit hard to open, but this is what it looks like on the inside. And like I was saying, you know, you want a case that's going to be protective of the knives that you have, but also too, what I like about having a case like this is organization. So for me, there's no real solid organization right now. It's kind of a little bit, um, you know, in the fray, but for the most part, you know, I have my spider co's in one place. I have my Emerson's in one place. I have my, um, what is it, Ultratex by Microtech here. I have my Benchmades here, you know, and so on and so forth. So I usually try to group most of my brands together and that allows me once again to know where they're at. Like say, hey, I wanna grab my Spyderco Paramilitary too. Well, I know where it's at because it's gonna be grouped with all my other Spydercos. So it helps in organization in that regard. And also too, once again, what I like about this uh, pick and pluck um, foam is that you can decide, you know, like how many knives you want um, and like I guess ultimately the size because like say these Ultratex um, 
These Ultratex take up about two little squares of foam and they fit nicely and pretty secure. I mean, obviously you want some room in there uh, so they're not like cramped, but you know, two pieces of foam and that's plenty of secure. Whereas something like, let's say this skirmish is going to be pretty darn big and it requires like three little things of foam. But overall, uh, you know, it does a really good job at keeping them nice, safe and secure and pretty well in there you know like they're not really moving around of course they're not bumping into each other you know these lanyards i will say are a little bit difficult but for the most part the lanyards uh, just kind of hang out there now i will say like i've kind of mentioned this is a little barren as you can see there are definitely going to be more knives populating this for now i do have my browse blade silent soldier v2 just hanging out right there but uh, in time i'll probably move this guy out of the box uh, just to make room for more uh, knives so anyways that's kind of what it looks like on the inside but very nice you have tons of foam like i was saying um, both on the top and on the bottom to protect you and then of course to protect your blades and then of course you have that nice gasket around the uh, opening so you get a really nice tight seal and overall it's uh, really hard to beat these guys especially because in my opinion you know when it comes down to it these pelican 1450s like i said they're only like 100 to 160 bucks depending where you get them and uh honestly too something i would say and how i actually ended up getting this one was on facebook marketplace so with facebook marketplace like a lot of things you might have to you know wait for the right time but honestly you can find some really good deals on things like pelican cases because people tend to you know like buy them for certain applications applications and oftentimes they never use them so sometimes you might even be able to snag one for under a hundred dollars um, but yeah so that's the size that I use and uh, that is how I store my knives um, for EDC and so it works really well for me once again it might not fit everyone's applications but uh, it does fit mine really well in addition to this um, being and once again kind of like a use case that's specific for me that might not be for everyone is that uh, you know I am a content creator on YouTube obviously making a YouTube video right now um, but essentially what that kind of means is that it is very nice to have something like this guy because uh, I can take this with me, like say in my truck, or if I wanna film on a certain location, I can take this case with me and know that it's going to adequately protect all my knives and take it to wherever I'm going to do filming. And that way it's like I have a safe, secure transport for my blades to uh, film and say like my truck or in a different location so it's really cool to have something like this pelican case because a lot of people kind of lean towards and even for a while i was leaning towards like a gun safe or that's where i was putting you know my more expensive knives and it's like the nice thing about a gun safe is it is very secure but at the same time too you can't really like pick up your gun case and move it around so a pelican case even if this is doesn't end up being your main way to store knives is still a really nice way to to transport knives in a very secure fashion that's going to protect your blades and keep them organized for whatever you're filming. So anyways, I wanted to break this down because like I said, I don't see a lot of YouTubers doing videos on or talking about, you know, like what kind of, you know, uh, setup they use for actually um, storing their blades. So anyways, that's what I use, the Pelican 1450. Hopefully you enjoyed the video guys. As always, God bless and I'm out.